All right, today I'm going to test a hard drive I just bought that I'm going to be installing in this Zmodo. Uh, it's a digital video recorder for a four camera system. I uh, won't be hooking this camera system up uh, right now. I'm just simply going to be loading the hard drive in so it'll be used as a DVR for recording. And what I'm going to do is test this on my 3-in-1 USB 2.0 to IDE and SATA cable uh, adapter here. So, yep, this is a little toy. The uh, little adapter, it basically your power, which is your plug right here that plugs into the actual SATA drive for power. Little power adapter, plug it into the wall. And then the SATA connection, which plugs into your USB port on your computer. So, we get this thing out of the package here. It's a Hitachi 400 gig uh, hard drive. So we will take it out and test it to make sure that it works before I install it. Alright, so I got my SATA cable connected, hooked up to the USB 2.0 cable, and connected to the computer. So now we should be able to power it on and it should be detected as a new hard drive. All right. I hear it. There it is, finally caught up to it. New drive is found. Hardware is installed and ready to use. So now we'll go to Alright. Basically, I don't see it detected here, so I'll have to go into the device manager and activate it, so stand by. Okay, so I am using my old XP computer here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the initial uh, initialization disk wizard shows it as disk 2 and it will initialize that so now it's unallocated so I want to right click that create it as a new partition yes I want to click it as a new partition I want to make it a primary I don't want to extend it it is 400 gig which gives me only 382 roughly gigs of usable space. Drive letter will let it assign it as H for now and do a quick format so it's ready to go in NTFS and finish. So now there we go it's formatting and yeah 37261 so yeah new volume is complete it is healthy Good deal. Alright, so now that's done. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the old DVR camera system here. So that's ready to go. Okay, so here's the inside of the camera system. Here's all the camera connections on the back. Basically four channel. And then uh, connecting to the VGA monitor, internet ready, and AC adapter power and all that. Turn that off. So, yep, I'll go ahead and install this. It's just four mounting screws on the bottom. Just like that. Two there and then two there on the other side. So, pretty simple. We'll go ahead and get it installed and connect it up. Alright, well, looks easy, but it's really not. <laughs> Trying to line this thing up and then get a screw in on the bottom just to start it and then the second one you know for you know getting the other two lined up so it'll be easier to secure but yeah that was a little little difficult there trying to make sure this thing didn't drop and slide around and all that so all right well I'll go ahead and get a couple more screws in here and then I'll connect it up and for those curious, this camera system, this DVR, can actually hold 
or handle up to a one terabyte hard drive, but I just got a 400 gig uh, again for you know since it's really just being used for you know recording cameras, you know recorded cameras and um, you know for security purposes. Uh, I mean you can reset this hard drive once everything's up and running. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on a expensive one terabyte hard drive, even though they are getting cheaper. This one wasn't bad. So, all right, let me get this thing secured and I'll connect it up. All right, the last two screws are in. It is mounted and secured. So now I'm ready to go ahead and connect it up. Which there's the power right there, and then. Oh man. Yeah, that's a little difficult to do with one hand here. Yeah, it should just go right in. Here it is. Yeah, that bottom vent there is what was blocking it. So now everything's plugged up and ready to seal it back up. Let me just set this down so I can do this. Alright, it is sealed and secure, so excellent. Yeah, this is the, again, this I guess is a generic brand name uh, hard drive tester, or for external testing. So, yep. USB 2.0 interface um, connects the old IDE or SATA hard drives, whether they're two and a half or three and a half inch, for testing. Uh, supports 480 megabits high speed and 12 megabits in full speed. Uh, that's per second. Uh, let's see, external power supply and uh, red green LED indicators. And it's supported on the old Windows 98, Me 2000 XP, 2003 Vista 7, and Mac OS. So, yep, I think I got this from Newegg. Can't recall, but uh, again, they're out there. These things run about twenty, thirty dollars for a decent one. So, you can find them cheaper. But, um, yep, had this for a little while. Just haven't done it or haven't used it in sometimes so but there you go tested a hard drive installed it into my DVR system for a four camera setup and yeah we'll connect this up in another video this is going to Mexico as a matter of fact to the restaurant so yep we'll see it get installed down there around December so there you go thanks for watching